That's the F-35A Lightning II, one of the world's most advanced stealth aircraft. Both the F-35A Lightning II and F-35A flew all the way from the US to attend the Aero India 2023 in Bengaluru, India's largest air defence show. The F-35s are the prized possessions of the US Air Force and part of its five-generation supersonic multi-road aircrafts. These aircrafts represent the leading edge of US fighter technology. Some of the features of fifth-generation fighter aircraft are of course stealth, right? both uh, radar, uh, in terms of having a very low uh, radar cross-section, which makes it difficult to detect with various kinds of radar. The best part is it is able to fuse together inputs from different kinds of sensors to uh, put together a composite picture. That it can play a very an integral part in the emerging US, you know, multi-service network. It's called the Advanced Battle Management System, the ABMS. Each of these uh, F-35s is not only going to be a shooter, but it's also going to be a sensor. Because of the high fidelity sensors it has on board and the fact that it is networked with other systems in the US inventory, obviously. It can carry one dozen of AIM-120 or advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles. The aircraft can also carry six guided bombs. But unlike other fighter jets, 5th Gen 535As can carry weapons worth 18,000 pounds in stealth mode. These aircrafts can be used for multi-purpose roles during operations. It can serve as an information and communications gateway by sharing its operational picture with the ground, sea and air communications. Multiple countries have shown interest in the latest fighter jet from Lockheed Martin. India also plans to add the F-35 to its armoury, but nothing is official as of now. USA is generally reluctant to let the F-35 exercise in places where the S-400 system is active. Right. right, so in that sense also, circling back to our point about the message, the fact that they've sent them in also says that they are getting over some of their inhibitions. See, because the United States ultimately will always have that Russian bogey in its mind, how well it is able to cast that aside will also determine the trajectory of Indo-US relations in the interim, right? So, because the fact of the matter remains that a large part of the Indian inventory, especially the Air Force inventory, is of Russian origin. Even though many, most of the planes were licensed produced in India, the supply chain is still somewhat dependent on Russia. The historic debut of the US Air Force's latest jets at Aero India points towards an open cooperation between the two military giants. The five-day Aero show aims to strengthen India's relations with other countries. Around 73 CEOs of global and Indian original equipment manufacturers are participating in the event. MSMEs and startups in the field will also be present.